Hi there! In this quick screencast we're going to get started with the new native development for Java developers who want to create native libraries or people creating native libraries who want to work with Java at the same time. So we start and we create a simple Hello Java application. We'll make this class called main just as an example. And right now when you click on this class you can see here that grayed out is generate JNI library project. So we can't do anything with it yet. And that's because we don't have any native methods here yet. So let's create one of those. Private native void native greeting. Here it is. And over here, we're going to call that method. New main. And then call our native greeting. So that's it. Now, because we have this native here, what that means is we can now generate a JNI library project. And right now we don't have a compiled class, so we need to first compile it. And once compilation is complete, we can right click and generate our JNI library project. So we say, hello, um, native. And we put it, and you can see that we have different tool collections. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Click, click finish and here it is here's our native project and what's been created for us is the header file it's been generated and also a source file that's rather amazing so we can say here now print for example hello world right okay so we take a look in the options window and here I have in the C++ tab different collections of tools so I have Segwin I have MingW, and this one is actually for 64-bit, um, which is what I'm on, 64-bit Windows. Um, this I had earlier. Uh, actually, it's wrong. It's 32-bit, so I can't actually use it. And there's also Sigwin. But this is my collection of libraries and tools and, and so on. You can see also I could use Fortran. Um, there's debugger command. There's QMake, CMake, all kinds of C++-related tools. So actually, um, now we're done. Um, and what's actually interesting is if I hold down the control key and I move my mouse over native greeting, you can see that um, I can I get some information and plus I can click on this native greeting and now I jump into the other project where that greeting is found. Let's um, show the output window. Okay, and what's also been done because that C++ project is created what NetBeans has done for me is it's created a Java library path call here into which the um, dist folder is set where the native library will be created. We're going to do that now. So we'll um, build. And we do our build. And we take a look in the files window because that's where all the generated files end up. And we've now generated a native file. And here it is, dist. And in here is our DLL. So now we need to load that DLL. Let's do that. So we say uh, system load library and then between quotation marks we type lib hello native. And that's all we should need to do. We now run our application and we see our hello world message. It's not so neat yet so let's add a Small line break, and we run the applicate. We build it again, and we run it again, and there's a hello world message. This, however, is just the tip of the iceberg. If you right click on a class, on the class signature, you will see that you can generate your JNI header again. You can copy signatures, you can move things around. Um, also, when we were in the options window, I didn't type any of these entries in myself. I clicked on restore defaults and then NetBeans found all the C++ compilers and other related tools for me and registered them automatically in this options window. And also, as you'll see next time, there is support for debugging from Java to C++ and back again. If you go to the new and noteworthy page, for NetBeans IDE 8.1, you'll see there's a section called Mixed Development Support where you're able to read about the various things I've shown so far and things I will show next time. In particular, in the next screencast in the series, I will show you debugging 
from uh, Java to C++. So you can see here, debugging both Java and C++ code at once, breakpoints can be placed and will be hit in Java and C++ files without the need to adjust the debugger. So th this is functionality I will show next time. But I think this is really cool stuff. And if you're in this domain where you're doing uh, C++ development, you, um, creating DLLs or native libraries of any kind for any kind of platform, this native integration with Java is simply awesome.